Hello, welcome to Puffs and Poetry. I'm your host, Jessica, a writer, cannabis aficionado, and poetry lover. I've got my weed, I've got my iced coffee. Let's get right into it. Today, I am rolling up a joint with CBD, THC, and herbal, an herbal blend. <laughs> Um, I love adding herbs to my cannabis experience for the taste, the aroma, and the added terpenes. Cannabis is a very ancient form of plant medicine. Herbs are, of course, a form of plant medicine. So in my humble opinion, they work twice as well together. So while I get this situated, let me tell you about what we're reading today. We are continuing to read from the collected works of Sarah Teasdale. Sarah Teasdale is a 20th century poet. She was born in the 1880s, died in the 1930s, and her poems are characterized by their brevity, rhyming cadence, and intensely rom romantic subject matter. I borrowed the book of Sarah Teasdale's poetry from my library shout out to my local library and I have been going through it for the last couple weeks picking out my favorite pieces to share with you as usual I am rolling up a type 2 joint. Type 2 refers to the chemotype of the cannabis in the joint. And chemotype is a simple classification of cannabis by the dominant cannabinoid. A type 2 chemotype has both CBD and THC in some balance or ratio. A type 1 is dominated by THC, a type 3 is dominated by CBD. Beautiful. This uh, grinder has, in addition to an ashtray, a little joint holder on it. It's my favorite. Today I am using the herbal blend from High Priestess Herbal Wellness. It's their focus blend. It has CBD and a mix of six other herbs in it. It is delicious. And if you wanna know my full thoughts on it, you can check out my review on my blog. <clears throat> now, without further ado, let's get into it. Our first poem today is called Compensation. I should be glad of loneliness, and hours that go on broken wings, a thirsty body, a tired heart, and the unchanging ache of things. If I could make a single song, as lovely and as full of light, as hushed and brief as a falling star on a winter night. Got a little bit of a canoeing going on here, but we'll fix that in a moment after our next poem, which is called The Net. I made you many and many a song, yet never one told all you are. It was as though a net of words were flung to catch a star. It was as though I curved my hand and dipped seawater eagerly, only to find it lost the blue dark splendor of the sea. <clears throat> these next few poems are called, these next few poems are from a section called In a Hospital. And she obviously wrote them in a hospital.
open windows. Out of the windows, a sea of green trees lift their soft bows like the arms of a dancer. They beckon and call me, come out in the sun, but I cannot answer. I am alone with weakness and pain, sick abed and June is going. I cannot keep her, she hurries by with the silver green of her garments blowing. Men and women pass in the street, glad of the shining sapphire weather. But we know more of it than they, pain and I together. They are the runners in the sun, breathless and blinded by the race. We are the watchers who sit in the shade, who speak with wonder face to face. This next poem is called New Moon, and it is my favorite poem out of this section in a hospital. Day, you have bruised and beaten me, as rain beats down the bright, proud sea. Beaten my body, bruised my soul, left me nothing, lovely or whole. Yet I have wrested a gift from you, day that dies in dusky blue, for suddenly, over the factories, I saw a moon on the cloudy seas, a wisp of beauty all alone in a world as hard and gray as stone. Oh, who could be bitter and want to die when a maiden moon wakes up in the sky? This is called The Unseen. Death went up the hall, unseen by everyone, trailing twilight robes past the nurse and the nun. He paused at every door and listened to the breath of those who did not know how near they were to death. Death went up the hall, unseen by nurse and nun. He passed by many a door, but he entered one. It is morning when I'm filming this and it is just one of my favorite ways to start the day, if not my absolute favorite way to start the day with coffee, a joint, and poetry. So thank you for sharing that with me, I appreciate it. Our last poem today is called A Prayer. I got distracted by the fact that my joint is canoeing again. It keeps happening. What are you going to do? <clears throat> a prayer. When I am dying, let me know that I loved the blowing snow, although it stung like whips. That I loved all lovely things, and I tried to take their stings with gay, unembittered lips. That I loved with all my strength to my soul's full depth and length, careless if my heart must break. That I sang as children sing, fitting tunes to everything, loving life for its own sake. There is such a joy in reading short rhyming poems, they're so fun, but some of Sarah's cadences are more challenging than others. Um, the Unseen has an A, B, C, B rhyming cadence, so um, the first and the third line don't rhyme, but the second and the fourth do. But in this one, A Prayer, it's A, A, B, C. No, that's not correct. A, A, B, C, C, B, D, D, E, F, F, E. So it's a more it's more interesting rhyming cadence. It's just more challenging to read, which can also make it more fun. It's 
it's hard to talk the structure of poetry and smoke a joint at the same time. <laughs> That is everything that I have for you today. If you are rolling up with me, I would love to know what you smoked. Please comment it below. <coughs> I lost my train of thought there for a second, obviously. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of your day.